Good morning and welcome to Morning Prayer for St. John's Lutheran Church of McGuanagall for December 1st, 2022. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. Hasten to save me, O God. O Lord, come quickly to help me. Where can I go from your spirit? Where can I flee from your presence? If I go up to the heavens, you are there. If I make my bed in the depths, you are there. Be merciful to me, Lord, for I am faint. O Lord, heal me, for my bones are in agony. Turn, O Lord, and deliver me. Save me because of your unfailing love. Jesus said to his disciples, Receive the Holy Spirit. If you forgive anyone his sins, they are forgiven. If you do not forgive them, they are not forgiven. There is now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. As we continue to look at some familiar Advent text, uh, a lesson from I, Isaiah chapter 11. A shoot shall come out from the stump of Jesse, and a branch shall grow out of his roots. The Spirit of the Lord shall rest on him, the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and might, the spirit of knowledge and fear of the Lord. And his delight shall be in the fear of the Lord. He shall not judge by what his eyes see or decide by what his ears hear. But with righteousness he shall ju judge the poor. And um, it was Tom Petty, right, who sang, Waiting um, is the hardest part and and to be a child of God, um, the centuries before Jesus came, and waiting for deliverance, waiting to a return to a homeland when you were in captivity, waiting for what the prophet had promised would come. And, uh, and I speak to a, a group of people who are waiting. Um, one of my devotion books that I use during the Advent season um, include letters um, that a that a German pastor who spoke out against Nazism. What he wrote from prison letters uh, to friends, letters um, to his uh, parents, and and the one that I share a portion with you today was a letter to his fiance. Now he's in prison, um, and and he's writing a word of encouragement. And he says, be brave for my sake, dearest Maria, even if this letter is your only token of my love this Christmas tide, we shall both experience a few dark hours. We, we recognize this, this is not it. And then just when everything is bearing down on us to such an extent that we can scarcely withstand it, the Christmas message comes to us and tells us, that what we take to be evil and dark is good and light because it comes from God. Our eyes are at fault, that is all. God is in the manger. God is in the manger for us. No evil can befall us. Whatever men may do to us, they cannot but serve the God who has secretly revealed his love and rules the world and our lives. When one is oppressed, it's hard to wait when one is struggling it's hard to wait and what this pastor encourages his fiance with i encourage you the one we are waiting for is the one who has already come he has come in deliverance he has come in love and and does not god work out all things for the good of his children um yes waiting is hard but we know that which we wait for. We wait for deliverance. We wait for deliverance from him. Amen. Come quickly, Lord Jesus. In the morning, O Lord, I call to you. Be merciful to me and hear my prayer. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. 
For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. O Lord, our Heavenly Father, almighty and everlasting God, you've brought us safely to this new day. Defend us now with your mighty power and grant that this day we neither fall into sin nor run into any kind of danger. And in all we do, direct us to what is right in your sight. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. Amen. Let us praise the Lord. Thanks be to God. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen.